Hey everyone, it's the Bert from the Bert's Flies and Guide Service. Check it in with this week's fly. This week I'm working on some Pleaver Pertagons. That's an order that someone made, so I've had a handful of these in the vise over the past few days. Uh, this is just a pretty standard uh, Mayfly Nymph. This is one uh, that I have in my hand is a size 16. I tie these from a 12 to a 16. The uh, it's a pretty cool little nymph. Uh, it looks like a lot of normal mayfly nymphs. Big difference with this one um, is that it's coated in a UV finish, and there's no um, dubbing material in this one. And it has a I don't know if you can see it, but the the black wing casing on the top is actually just a, a simple black nail polish from a good old Walmart. Uh, <clears throat> Underneath the, the UV coating, you have the black wing casing on the top, and then you have, it's probably going to be pretty hard to see, but right at the base of the bead is an orange, what's called a hot spot, just to kind of stick out, nice little color color spot. The body is an olive vivas body quill with a black and white barred tail, and there is a fluorescent green uh, ribbing. And once you coat this with the UV finish, when the sun hits it, and it's probably going to be kind of hard to see on this camera, but you can kind of see that nice neon uh, ribbing in there. I know it's going to be a little bit blurry, but when the sun hits this, it really, really pops out. It looks really cool under the water. The other cool thing uh, under the bead is some lead wire to help it get down. But with that UV finish, what I do over the top of that is some super glue, make a nice smooth, hard coat. Uh, the UV finish tends to get a little cloudy over time. With that super glue coating, it helps really helps to protect it. It also makes it very smooth, very streamlined. And with the nice heavy bead and lead wire uh, under the bead, it really gets down quick. Uh, again, this is something that you want to fish real close to the bottom. <clears throat> Works really well early in the year. Of course, it can be used all summer, but I like, I like nice small mayfly nymphs early in the season, especially ones that get down quick, get to the bottom, typically where the fish are going to be feeding. Uh, great little fly. I've only known about this fly for maybe a year or so. Only used it a handful of times. It's pretty cool. It looks real nice in the water, and I've had a, quite a bit of success with it. Uh, something else that I like to do with nymphs like this is tie it uh, hanging down from a larger nymph, say maybe a size 12 or even a big stonefly nymph, about a foot and a half to two feet below that as like a dropper. So this one's right on the bottom with a, uh, a larger nymph kind of floating a little higher in the, in the water line. Uh, <clears throat> very cool nymph, really like it. I'm a big nymph fish fisherman. And uh, that when the sun hits this, man, that, that ribbing really pops. So, Nice attractor, very nice nymph. Uh, if you like my videos, please check my YouTube channel out. It's just uh, the Burt's Flies and Guide Service. Check my website out on Etsy. You can see all the flies that I tie there and order if you want. I'm also on Facebook. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave, please leave feedback if you wish. Any feedback is appreciated. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Bye.